Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how you can play Diablo 4 on an iPad. And it doesn't matter if it's one of the newer iPads, like I have the M1 11 inch or an M4 or whatever. You can still even do this on an iPad Air and an older iPad and even an iPad mini and even on an iPhone. What am I talking about? We are using a service is called GeForce Now from Nvidia. And when we go to the GeForce Now website, you will see this overview here, how you can set up GeForce Now for your iPad or for your iPhone, because it works exactly the same for your iPhone as well. So you have to be in Safari. It doesn't work on Chrome or any other browser you have to open the Safari browser and in the Safari browser it will tell you here set up your play and then when you click on this it will give you instructions how you can play GeForce Now on the iPad. Click on share and then here under share scroll down until you see here add to home screen. If you click on this one it will ask you what kind of name you want to have what kind of icon. I already did this just say here add and it will now be on your home screen. So if I come back in here I will see now here GeForce Now and I can simply click on this GeForce Now will open up and you can basically log in into your profile. The cool thing about GeForce Now is you don't even have to pay for it. There's different types of subscriptions. There's even a free option here. You get a basic rig, you get standard access to gaming servers, one hour session time length. What it means is not just one hour per day, you can actually play as many hours as you want, but every hour the rig is basically reset and you have to re-log in and it works. You can take this even as a break. I was starting to play Diablo with this. If you don't want that these sessions are closing after one hour, then you can, for example, go for the monthly option here and then you play with this, you get a better rig and everything. But Diablo 4 worked here on the free version very well on the iPad. And in order to set up everything, you have to come in here and if you haven't logged into any account yet, you go up here and then here under account, you can create an account or log into an account that you already have. Then you under here, on this one, you can come into settings. Here under the settings, you will find all the different connections to all of your different game services like Ubisoft, Epic Games, Steam, Xbox, and so on. For Battle.net, you simply just every time when you log into a Battle.net game, you just type in your Battle.net account and then you are in a Battle.net and you can just start playing the games of Battle.net. Under here, under the settings, there's one important thing. How can we set up the resolution on our iPad? By default, it is not the best resolution. So you have to come down here and change this one here. So by default, it will be balanced. So you change that here to custom and then you will even see here the different types of re resolutions. I think here for my iPad, by default, it, it had this kind of resolution. That's not the one that I want. I want this one because that's the biggest resolution I can get. Unfortunately, I was looking into this topic a long time. Every other device, if you go to your PC, if you go to your Mac, even if you go to Android, you can even choose here 1920 by 1080. But somehow on the iPhone and even on the iPad, we can't choose 1920 by 1080. Even if we use an external monitor that is 16 by nine, so 1920 by 1080p, we can't use this here. The reason why is after long research, it's because of Safari. Safari has some limitations from Apple. It's not just affecting the gaming streaming, it's also affecting all of the streaming services. So if you are on Netflix, if you are on Disney, even if you use YouTube, just via the Safari browser, you will have these kind of limitations. So the solution to that is, I hope in the future that Nvidia is coming out with an app GeForce Now, like there is for Mac and there is for Android, for example, and then in the app, we should also be able to get a higher resolution. But you can still play the game. I will show you if you select this one. Now you can come in here, go to your games. You will find all the games that you have. Of course, you have to purchase the game. It's not a service that you get access to the game for free. So then you click here on Diablo 4 and then you say play. It will also tell me, hey, connect a gamepad. This is the best experience for the iPad. I will tell you in a second why. We now say connect and now it will start and connect to my rig. If you are on the free version, there will be a little loading because then there's like maybe 10, 20 people in front of you and it just goes by who comes first, gets served first. Usually what it took for me is like, maybe five minutes and then I was able to get my rig. So here's my gaming rig, your gaming rig is ready. I can say okay and immediately I can log into my Battle.net account. If you use this service many, many times, you don't even have to log into your security or something. Here it recognizes me, all fine. The cool thing about GeForce Now is, is twofold. Number one, it doesn't matter what kind of hardware you're using. That's why I told you at the beginning, you can even use this on an iPhone, on an older iPad, because you're using the power of the rig, the PC that you are now connected because you're playing over the cloud. And the second thing is all the games are always updated and already installed. So you don't waste any time installing. And I'm not an affiliate for Nvidia GeForce. I just played around with this and this is the solution how I can now play Diablo 3 on the iPad. The problem that we have with the iPad, this is the biggest downfall. If that wouldn't be the case, we could actually play all big titles on the iPad, even with a mouse. The problem is the mouse that we have, now I'm using my trackpad here, but I could also connect the mouse. I have a mouse 
on my iPad, but it doesn't recognize the mouse here inside of the gaming rig. If you are on a PC or on a Mac, it will actually recognize your mouse and then you can play the same service with full support. The funny thing is, the keyboard is supported. With the keyboard, I can do stuff and it works. The work around this, the touch is still working. So for example, I can come in here and now touch on play and it will start playing. But inside of the game, we are not using touch. We can actually use a gamepad or a modified gamepad that I will show you now in a second. So let's start up the game. So now, as you can see, I'm logged into Diablo 4. I already created two characters here. So the way you can interact now is you see here on the top, when you are on the iPad, you have different input methods. The first one is your keyboard here. That is also the one where you have your mouse where you can use the touch. So for example, I can use the touch, go and select anything. So that works. But the better experience for the iPad is actually when you come up here and change here to gamepad mode. Now you have an on-screen game mode where you can take your iPad, like in any other game, and you can now use the functions here here, start the game and it will load now my game here in Diablo 4 just here on my iPad. So as you can see I'm now in the game I can play now Diablo 4 just here with the on-screen things I can walk around I can interact with I can interact with my stuff here this is my chest for example I can even have my mount and now go through the, the map so the thing is it, it works, you can already play with this if you prefer that. But when I compare that to other games that use on screen, somehow all of these buttons are fixed on the same position, also the moving and everything. So it doesn't quite is the same experience like for example a real game here on the iPad. Like let's say for example League of Legends that I play or Diablo Immortal. Diablo Immortal feels way better to play. But there is a solution to that. The solution is actually that you get a gamepad. So this is why I picked up this gamepad now here which is a very small one and we will now do the unboxing because even Nvidia themselves they say that you should use a gamepad to interact with the game and then after you have a gamepad and there's all kinds of gamepads that you can use so definitely check out YouTube for that you can even use a PlayStation controller you can use an Xbox controller all via Bluetooth and connected to there and you can start playing there if you want a very small one because my channel is all about being a nomad traveling lightweight there is a gamepad that is actually has most of the functions that you need to play a game like Diablo and we will now unbox this one together So inside of the box of the 8-bit Duo Lite 2 Blue Switch, you will find this device. It's a very handy and small, and it's the second version of it. And the main upgrade is these little knobs that we have now here that we can use that you know from big controllers. So every game that needs these kind of sticks, now you can play them even here with this small footprint. So in the box, you find a controller. You find a manual instruction and a USB-A to USB-C cable to charge that one. I don't know the exact specs, but basically what I catched when I was doing my research is this has a huge battery in. You can play up to 18 hours or even longer just with one charge. That is amazing for gaming. So even if it's a small footprint, it holds longer than most of the big competitors. Like a PlayStation controller, you have to charge earlier than this little bad boy here. On the website it says it's made for the Nintendo Switch and for Android devices, but they even have a small category that it supports iPads and Mac and PCs as well. And I tested this one already because I got a second one as well, so that my girlfriend and I can play some little Apple Arcade games or some games in the App Store or maybe even via GeForce Now that we can play together. So the thing is, when you connect them, you have to check out the layout here and you have a little switch. One is S, S for Nintendo Switch, and then for all the other devices you use, use D. So you can use this on Nintendo Switch and play Mario Kart if you like. And if you want to connect this now here to your iPad and you want to play Diablo, you have to actually come in here and change this one to D. From the manual you just have to click this one here and if you hold this one down you will see that the lights are going on. But if you have any issues and the light is not blinking, even after you charge this one, so out of the box this has like 20% battery, at least it was with my first one. But the problem with my first one was I couldn't get the lights on at all. And I was already thinking, maybe I have a wrong device, maybe there's something broken, whatever, and if it doesn't light up, you cannot connect via Bluetooth. But then, somewhere in the internet, I was researching, I found a hack. And it's unfortunate that the instruction manual doesn't show you that. If the lights don't turn on, 
you have to hold down L1, L2 and then hit the star here or the other one and just wait until this one starts blinking. That was working here on my device. Definitely check out which device you have. There is a hard reset and that's the hard reset to make the lights appear if you have the same problems. After the light is working, every time after the hard reset, you just simply have to click the home button. Like I told you before is this little icon here. And if you click the home button, So now one light is blinking. So when your light is on, to connect it via Bluetooth, important, go to D. And now here on the top, here next to your USB-C, you find this little pairing button. So you click the pairing button until you see the lights moving around left to right. That means that now it's in pairing mode. So if I now come here to my iPad under Bluetooth and then here under devices, I will find here 8-bit do light. And now I simply connect it. Now I see it's connected. And that's it. Now when you go to GeForce Now, you can use this device and start playing the games. So the one downside with GeForce Now, of course, is you need to have a very good internet connection. This can take up to four to nine gigabytes per hour, like streaming a very good movie in 4K and everything. If you don't have a good internet connection, of course, then it doesn't, it's not fun to play this game. So you have to like either go to a co-working space or find a cafe with very good internet connection or be at home with a very good Wi-Fi, then you can play this. So if you're on the go and you don't really have good internet, then this is not a feasible option. Unfortunately, the Diablo 4 doesn't work on the iPad and will probably never come to the iPad. But if you want to use your iPad to play Diablo 4 and you have a good internet connection, then this is definitely one solution that you can use. So now I'm logged in. What I haven't showed you yet, before we log into the game with my R1, I can come in here to game and options. And now when you just log into your rig, it's not even the highest resolution. So you can actually come in here. Don't change that to customer. Let's do ray tracing ultra and then say Y for save changes load the game. Now the quality of the game of course will be a bit better to play. So now we are in the game. I can use here my gamepad to play Diablo 4 here on my iPad. And because we are not using the on-screen buttons anymore, what I even can do is here with my two fingers, I can make this screen a bit bigger so I can see more and now I can actually play Diablo. So like this for example, now I can play Diablo 4 here on my iPad, use the most of my real estate on my iPad. And let's see, let's, let's get some kills. Need more time. I am out of vigor. Need more time. As you can see, you can now play Diablo 4 on an iPad if you have a good internet connection and if you have a game controller. I think this is the best combination. And now you can just play on your iPad Diablo 4. This is amazing. And if you have a dongle with HDMI, you can even connect an external monitor or a TV. And now you could even play on the TV. It works, I already tested that. Unfortunately, that's the thing with the um, resolution that I talked about. Unfortunately, we don't have the highest resolution if we play from the iPad. So it's more fun to actually play on a Mac if you have a Mac. But if you want, you can do this. You can even use Apple AirPlay and mirror your screen to a TV or to even to a Mac and then play on the Mac that is also working. I already tested that one, so this is cool. One thing, this is now for the hardcore fans of Diablo 4. I wanted to include a way how two people can play on one screen. Because when you got an Xbox or a PlayStation, you play Diablo 4, there's a so-called couch co-op mode. This is super cool. You see two characters on one screen, not split screen, on one screen and you can play together. But unfortunately, the PC version of Diablo 4 doesn't have the couch co-op version. Battle.net didn't include that for whatever reasons. I was reading that it, the reason is because of the Battle.net login that they can't make it work. Whatever. If I think if they wanted to make it work, there, there would be a solution. But unfortunately, it doesn't work. And because we are connecting to a PC, we have the same limitations like on every PC. We can't have two accounts. But there is maybe hope. I hope in the future because Xbox and PlayStation also has something called cloud computing. Same like NVIDIA GeForce, you can connect and play 
Xbox games, not just on an Xbox, even on another device, like on your iPad, for example. But the problem currently is Diablo 4 is not supported on the cloud gaming there. If Diablo 4 comes to cloud gaming in Xbox, you can do the exact same thing that I just told you in this video, but instead of using GeForce Now for the service, you could use Xbox Cloud Computing, the game, I think this is the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate or something like that. And then you could connect with two controllers and play Diablo 4 on your iPad but this is not working at the moment. Maybe if this is possible, I will make an update video in the future. And I think this is all you need to know. I personally think this is not a review about this, but this is an amazing small size footprint. We can take these around. We can go to my sister because I know my sister back in Germany, she has a Nintendo Switch. They only have two controllers. Now we can surprise them. We have four controllers. We can play Mario Kart now with four people, side note. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. This is the way you can play Diablo 4 here on the iPad. If you're new to my channel, I'm Daniel. On my channel, it's all about using the iPad primarily for filmmaking and DaVinci Resolve. So if you want to learn how to make videos and edit the videos, maybe your gaming videos, then definitely check out my channel here with DaVinci Resolve on the iPad because we have a complete full software of DaVinci Resolve. It's the same software like on the desktop on the iPad as well. So the iPads become more and more capable. So definitely check this out. If you found this helpful, if you like, like this video, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bam bang gong, and we see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.